What's up guys? Uh, so far in the loop or repetition structure, we had done a very simple project. Now I'm going to introduce you to the advanced uh, logic. Okay, it's not too tough, but we're going to do this project. So file new project. And for this project, we are using a while loop. Okay, so we're going to say while while loop reverse underscore number. So we are using a while loop to reverse a number. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a number first. Number equals to one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So here is our number. And then we would need another variable integer rev that's an abbreviation for reverse and uh, I'm just gonna say okay so we have integer num and integer reverse we're gonna use while and we would need to add a condition over here so what's the condition a condition is number where number is not equals to zero that's what we want to do okay while number is not equals to zero um, we say integer digit equals to number percentage sign that's modulus sign 10 okay so this will give us the last item in the loop okay integer uh, digit equals to number percentage or modulus 10 and then we have this uh, reverse variable we're going to say reverse equals to reverse time 10 plus digit okay and then uh, we have this num equals to num divide by 10 here you see we have an error because we haven't assigned a value so let's go ahead and assign a value to the reverse and there we go so uh, what we are doing over here we are checking in the loop while number is not equal to 0 as soon as the number gets 0 we're going to stop the execution integer digit equals to num percentage sign 10 so that means when you divide a number by 10 whatever is the remainder assign it to the digit and in this case it's going to be the last digit at every time reverse equals to reverse time 10 plus digit so first time it would be um, 0 0 times 10 is 0 plus 6 okay so the next time it's gonna come and say 6 times 10 that's 60 plus 5 that's 65 okay so it's trying to reverse the order and then number equals to number divided by 10 as we are using integer format make sure you use the integer format uh, you can reverse it uh, because if you divide this number by 10 it's gonna uh, create a round number as we are using integer integer cannot store the decimal numbers okay so um, it can store only the whole number so it's gonna drop the any value after the decimal point so it's gonna drop everything so for the first iteration we'll have five then we'll have one two three four it's going to drop four then three then two and then one so let's go ahead and write one thing console dot write line and we want to display the reverse string uh reverse number okay debug and start without debugging <coughs> excuse me there we go you can see six five four three two one we just reverse the number Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.